And greetings, everyone. Welcome back. I managed to find a cave that we are uh, sent to look for. Although, yeah, I think it is. Because there are weakened sky ends in there. So, let's see. Over there! Now the other one's coming as well. That's bad. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Was the uh, the lock on system getting going insane? Oh, I'm out of I'm out of I'm out of stamina. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I maybe should not have attacked that one. Not getting. Hmm. Not getting quest updates. That's a bit of a letdown. Okay, maybe if we loot them. Yeah, tissue sample. There we go. So actually, while I was looking for this uh, this cave, I did kill a few things and actually leveled up. So now we have enough um, constitution to actually get uh, another upgrade for our armor. It's this thief potion. That's cunning. So now we can go back to Korra. What kind of creature is that? Ice troll. Eh. I don't think uh, I want that. So yeah, this is uh, this is where the cave was. Yeah, not too far off. Uh, I did kind of go around here. Got this. Well, actually not all the way around because this is uh, a, a danger area. You'll freeze to death. So we can just follow the road back. No, 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 no. Yeah, I went around this way before. Because I saw the dark elix here and I thought, well, that probably leads to those uh, sky ends. Not really. I had a look at the achievements. Um, there is one for 300 quests completed. Uh, and it actually has a counter, and we are a little bit over 200 now. Here. Here. Take the tissue samples. Thanks. Just a moment. I'll put them in the nutrient solution. We should head back. It's too dangerous to examine the samples here. I can get home alone safely. I know the safe and unsafe areas now. You want to come along? Yeah. I'll walk you back. Just to be safe. Are you sure? I don't need your protection anymore, and I wanted to take a look at the samples on the way. I'm not going to have time to talk to you. Uh... Sure. I'll still come along. I don't want to travel alone. Okay, suit yourself. Let's get going. We may have to talk to uh, uh, the big cheese. Okay, she actually does wait for us. I can't wait to examine these samples properly. Hey, no talking. <laughs> 
From what I've seen of the samples so far, they look perfectly normal. Nope. Oh. Something's following us. Well, she has more stamina than us. Did you notice anything special about these creatures? Hmm. There was one thing. The big ones seem to be protecting the smaller ones. That's about it. Interesting. So the big one was behaving like a parent. A mother, perhaps? Don't even try to make me feel sorry for killing those things. Big head. Uh, that creature kind of reminds me of one of the... Uh, one of the monsters there from could be something to that. Monster Hunter. To what? I to what you just said. That the big one was trying to protect the small ones. Maybe the small ones were its offspring. Damn it. I wish we'd taken some samples from the big one, too. Doesn't matter now. Bread is probably toasty. Not much longer now. Hang on. Initiating area scan. Here we are. I'll get started on the analysis of the samples right away. I'll let you know if I find anything interesting. See you around. That was remarkable. Yeah. Okay, well. Okay, let's see. Rust bucket on the wrong track. Rony U4 has the ability to collect and analyze all important data. An essential tool and a true comrade in arms. It's time to recruit Crony and have him join me at my side again. Well, we've done that. Uh, I guess I could go back to um, Bastion, see if anyone has a quest for us. Ooh, we could try this. Wait, I'm. I might not have to crit us though. Hmm. Let's check. It's daytime. He should be around. Last time I went there, it was. Um. Where is he though? There. Okay. Well. So yeah, 300, uh, 300 quests. Densely populated area detected. Oh, something's going on. Enemy sensors. Let me take off my uh, swanky glasses here. I want you to find my book. No stone left unturned, no pocket unsearched. Ah. I must have it. May Goliath have mercy on your souls if you do not get it back to me immediately. Now, go and find it. Yeah, I do not like rat. Good luck, guys. Even I don't know where it is. I know who get who I gave it to, but not sure what she did with it. I 
Maybe she boiled it into a soup. Ah, oh, get off it. That's complete bullshit. No, seriously, he's been robbed. It's all true. Hmm. You've seen the tower with all the guards and locks? It's impossible. No one can get in there. Someone did. No, they didn't. Yes, they did. No, they didn't. Now get the fuck out of here with your rumors and shit. Remember what I told you? I'm gonna take precautions. So hey, there you are. Now you've got the time. Can you tell me about yourself? Now you've got the time. Can you tell me about yourself? Well, I'd be happy to. Well, I'm originally from Caracas. Thankfully, I wasn't born a Morcon. I can't stand the stuffy, claustrophobic... <laughs> anyway, those poachers got a hold of me and dragged me to the grotto. Then there was arguing. The Morcons love a good argument. Do we put the prisoners to work? Do we just kill them? Oh, charming stuff like that. I don't know how they survive being as divided as they are. Caracas isn't close. Uh, yeah, I was coming to that. Well, eventually, I was assigned to a group. Sent to Tavar with a few poachers. I guess it was a trap, and we were the bait. Anyway, they were supposed to scout out the area. But the guy in charge wasn't too keen. Yelled like someone put his balls in a vice. Of course, his men didn't like that. So, they got to whip in the nearest poor bastard to relieve their anger. That poor bastard was me, if you hadn't guessed. A fight broke out and I managed to slip away. I bumped into you and well, you know the rest. And they all met a sticky end. Well, I can hope, can I? <laughs> okay. Ooh, got a little seam there. Damn it. I'm running out of time. You sure? You do what you want, but keep your hands off my stuff. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Uh, Fenris. I'm busy. Come back later if you need something. Okay. <sighs> okay. Breathe. So, what do we know? The outlaws are hanging up their propaganda. I'm guessing they're also the ones behind the thefts. There's little chance of us finding out who's responsible, or that damn book. Right. Damn it. Let's talk to Lass. I heard Wolf suspected him at some point. If that doesn't help... Which it probably won't. We'll go get drunk. <laughs> yeah. Wait for Rat to yell at us. I really hate this fucking job. Zerker. Uh. There he is. Excuse me, but would it be a problem for you to take a different path? Am I interrupting? You are disrupting an active investigation. And a crime scene should always remain in its original state. Mm-hmm. I see. Can I help? The perpetrator must be an adult. You are an adult. Correct. That means you are under suspicion. You're a real smart one, aren't you? I am simply making good use of logic. So, you're gonna tell me what happened? Did you not notice the blood? On the ground? A classic sign of a crime scene. Classic. Aren't you too young to be looking at that? Too late. Listen, kid. You're too young to be involved in this. Nonsense. I have to gather clues and deduce motive. I may have to question you again, too. So please remain available. <laughs> Can I ask your name, please? Call me Jax. Got it. Suspect number three is named Jax. I gotta get going. Bye. Hey, where are you going? Fucking kids. You follow him? Wait, 
Where are you going? Charlie? I understand you want to talk to me, but I'm quite busy at the moment. <laughs> Starting Petra. I agree with Bobby's argument. Killjoy. Two people must have drunk a lot of beer in front of the tavern. Then, when they were finished, they went <laughs> somewhere else. Two people, you say? That fits my current hypothesis. Perhaps the same two people that had a fight in the healer district. But only one person was spying in the residential district. Only one? Intriguing. Why is that inter... interesting? <laughs> My friends, we can now deduce the following. Two acquaintances meet in Chloe's bar. They get drunk together, and then they change locations. The healer district. Precisely, Petra. Precisely. A dispute arises. The dispute becomes an altercation. As with many altercations, there is a winner and a loser. The loser is angry, naturally. He is our suspect, who in his peak, vandalized Hitch's home and left us to take the blame. Do you know what that means? Go on, tell us. We have a new case. Really just the same old case. A trivial detail. Now let us proceed as follows. Bobby, your job is to find out who Hitch was in the bar with last. Got it, boss. Petra, you maintain your vigilant surveillance of the residential district. All right. And what are you going to do? My aunt wants me to clean up this junk. I'm afraid I can't get out of it. You have two days to get the information we need. Good luck. So, how's your case going? I am not at liberty to share our progress with you. You must be able to tell me something. I'm sorry. Every single detail is strictly confidential. Then I'd better leave you to it. Yes, you had. Hmm. Gentlemen. Uh, anyway, since we're here, we'll talk to the, uh, the doorman. Should be able to teach us how to fight. Teach me how to fight. What do you want to know? I want to know how to do extra damage. Bam! Maxed. Yeah, attacking an unsuspecting enemy deals extra damage. But honestly, we I don't think we've. Hmm. Let's get it anyway. Because I think s maybe sometimes. By Ragnar's beard. Um, Have you heard? Is this one of your bullshit theories again? Uh -oh. No, I'm dead serious. So, you know how I told you about Fenris getting robbed? And I said things couldn't get any worse around here? Yeah. They got worse. Well, one of the guards told me a rat was robbed. <laughs> Seriously? That can't be true. I don't know, but if it is true, have mercy on us all. The berserkers are really in the gutter. <laughs> don't be so dramatic. I'm sure it's just talk. Yeah, it's not that I dislike the berserkers. I just I dislike rats a whole lot. I don't know. Listen. 
leave it. That is probably the thing that is interesting though about the factions in uh, Piranha Bytes games. They're not really clear cut good guys and bad guys. I think even in, in, in Gothic 1, it made sense to join the old camp because that's kind of the first camp you go into. But I don't think the, uh, the new camp actually seemed all that bad if you actually went in there. They, they, they talked a, uh, a bad, uh, I wonder what, so they're investigating, I don't know what that blood has to do with it, but there was, um, the guy they're talking about, Mitch or Hitch, Hitch, I think, uh, he had a, <laughs> he had a problem that someone went uh, a number two in his house. Um, what was I talking about? Yeah, even uh, they bad badmouth the uh, the old camp, the new camp, quite a bit. But I, I think when you went in there, they weren't all that bad, even though they were kind of bandits. But and the same the same deal applies here. And also, the the, the old camp wasn't uh, all, you know, all good and uh, proper anyway. Same's true for Elix. I'll pay you to teach me. Sure, we can... I'll pay you to teach me. And just like that, things look very different. What do you want to know? Teach me how to be a blacksmith. What do you want to know? Okay, well... Oh, hey, this is good. Yeah. Uh, both. Ooh. Uh, yeah. Yep, let's take this. Let's take this. 85 constitution. Whew. Uh, I don't know about that one. Because is there anything else we want? Yeah, I want health. Yeah, now I can't get the uh, regeneration. That's a bit of a shame, but... Eh. Uh, so yeah, we don't have all the parts that we need for the lass, clearly. I think we need to find the old critters. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Yeah, they don't give you any specifics on where to get them. That's a shame. Yeah, we have a quest that isn't really all that doable without. Uh, um, yeah, these two. The problem with these two is that we're not allowed inside the uh, upper district in the in the, uh, in the city, the um, crater city. Oh, we could do this. Heinrich. Yeah. Uh, we could probably do this. The Attila. That's been a while. Yeah, let's go there now. May, may as well. Uh, back to the grotto. To the bat cave. Gentlemen, let's see which way do we need to go. Um. Warning: Atmosphere conditions unsuitable for proper function of human hypothalamus. 
Are you saying that the bad air in the grotto makes the people here dumber than average? Analysis confirmed. You should probably keep your voice down. The Morcons might make you into a trash can. <laughs> High probability of collapse. Uh, no, I don't. I don't it makes you wonder how many people once lived here. I guess. Good to see you. The beasts are hungry. They want to be fed. You ready to try and cheat them out of their meal? Uh, yeah. I want to fight. Good. You survived the first challenge. You ready for the second one? Might be the last one if you fail it. Don't worry about me, old timer. Oh, I've heard plenty of boasting in my time. Get yourself ready. Taking you to the arena. Uh oh. Yeah, this is quite a bit worse than the first one. That, if that counts as a backstab, we'll be okay. Oh, there's more. That was a good fight. An honor to watch. Here, these are yours. Ravok knows I envy you. you. Your strength. Strength isn't everyone. Else. Experience counts too. Strength isn't everything. Experience counts too. That might be true. But experience still might not be enough. I'm sure you're still better than you think. My time's over. It's young men like you who will make the difference now. Come back when you're ready for the next challenge. I'll be here. Getting everything ready for you. I guess we need to wait a bit, don't we? I want to fight. But I already told you we're not set up for another fight yet. Mm. Keep coming back. You'll soon get the fight you're looking for. I'll let you know when we're ready. Okay, uh, we have servo motors. Let's hand those in. Yoink. About those servo motors. Got a few of them. Oh, great. I can definitely use these. Here, take this. Any more motors you find, you know where to bring them. That no, isn't enough. Not enough. Got another one for you. Great. Here's your payment. Got another one for you. That isn't enough. All right. There we go. I wonder if she um, if if she'll have enough at some point. Otherwise, you could make uh, well. Well, you know, there there is indefinite respawn. I think in this game, so if you know where to get them. I think it is the most um, the most worthwhile items you can hand in. Seven fifty shards isn't too bad. And also all the other stuff that you can hand in isn't really uh doesn't give you that much in return and also it's it's not um i don't think you can get like an infinite amount of iron ore um 
I need a uh, health trainer. for your next quest yet. What about you, Falk? How are things? How are things with you, Falk? Excellent. Being by your side is proving to be a mm. very interesting experience. That is just the... Uh... How is my standing with you question? Teach me something. I'll try. You may try. There we go. Yeah. Uh, maybe I, I might have a potion actually. Let's see. Cunning skill point. There we go. Teach me something. Slight hit point regeneration. There we go. Done and done. Yeah, that's not too bad. That's pretty handy actually when we um Oh I haven't actually checked. Food should be more uh, nutritious now also. So that's a big help. Yeah. Um. All right. What about you, bully? No. Probably go and see Heinrich. I think that's been a day. And also we need to speak to Mitch again, but I think that I'll have to wait until the evening. Uh, Heinrich is at the castle. Okay, and he's on the map because he's a teacher. That's handy. Oh, right. He was the drill sergeant. Detected. Deactivating enemy sensors. Good. You said you had a use for me. You said you had a use for me? That's correct, soldier. Listen up. I'm gonna lay it all out. I've asked around about you. Seems you've already had military training. They also say you're a specialist in foreign terrain. Personally, I'd have put you on latrine duty, but there's more to you than I thought. I'm offering you a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to put your skills to real use. Interested? Uh... Sure. Sure. Where should I start scrubbing? Ah, we've got a joker on our hands. Too bad I'm not in a laughing mood. Let me be clear. We have very few supporters. Even fewer soldiers. And an army that can't fight is no army at all. These walls are a prison. I want us to escape. And to do that, we need soldiers. People who know what they're doing. Not a bunch of religious nut jobs who think prayer's the answer. I don't care if we're working with thieves or thugs or any kind of criminal. Beggars can't be choosers. And you think I'm a little bit of all those things, right? No. We're talking right now because you spend time with these sorts of people. And don't try to tell me otherwise. 
I want to use your connections to win these people over to our cause. Can I count on you? I don't know. <sighs> Let's see. You can. What do you need me to do? You've got backbone. Good. I'll keep it short. I'm sure you're familiar with the outlaws crater. They're savages. Toss their trash straight out onto the street. They treat their people the same way, but we can use the people they throw out like trash. Head to the crater, find out who's on their hit list, and bring them here. Hmm. About the outlaws. Ready for an interim report? You have my undivided attention. I'm still working on it. <laughs> Take your time. Rushing headlong into the job won't help. Okay. Huh. I thought maybe he already had some things to say, because yeah, we've, we've spent quite a bit of time at the crater. But I guess we have to be sp specific. Um, let's go to the crater and let's check if uh, we can speak to Mick yet. Sloping terrain detected. Soil analysis initiated. I can't right now. So, what does your analysis show? Molten rock traces and elix deposits detected in soil. Deposits indicate impact by large comet approximately 151.4 to 170.3 years ago. No greater level of accuracy available. Okay. No problem, little guy. Unnaturally high concentration of pheromones detected. Possibility of dangerous individuals present. Risk level upgraded. Feral what? Explanation. Pheromone. Messenger hormone. Triggers specific response in other individuals of same species. Sure, if you say so. So we're uh, a completely uh, a complete good guy right now. As you can see, our karma is at purely creative. We are the uh, the avatar of virtue, or whatever. Uh, which is kind of weird, because Hank's body might still be around, actually. You smell, but I still like you. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. If we don't put up some resistance, all is lost. So, did you set up the meeting with Viper? Yeah, and I hope you know what you're in for. Still too light out. Viper don't like daylight. You should wait till dark, pour a drink, and pray for good luck. That works for me. There we go. I like you better when you relax, you know? Man, you're really pounding it down. You got a cast iron stomach or something? <laughs> anyway, we gotta go. Ugh, shit. You're a real weirdo, you know. I met body bags chattier than you. broke his weapon. We all got problems. Something tells me whatever. I wouldn't want to deal with yours. How much farther is it? Not much. Almost there. This has been quite a long quest chain. This is still about um, the uh, the Alp that we took to the uh, to the back to the clerics who was in the crater. We're here. That guy over there is one of Viper's boys. His boss can't be far away. I'd come with you, but I'll handle it. You head on home. Yeah, I'll do that. Good luck, pal. Ah, there you are. You're the VIP Viper's been waiting for. Can't you see I'm busy? Guess we'll just go in. There 
you are. Come on in. Hmm. You think that helmet would change his voice a little? Don't be scared. Come here. So this is the most uh, frightening moment of my life. So you're the other one. The other one what? There was an Albin here earlier. Said his name was Zarek. He was a little too nosy for my liking. Oh yeah. I remember Zarek. Uh, what do you do to him? What'd you do to him? Nothing. He's okay. We got off on the wrong foot. But I won't hold it against you. Besides, this place doesn't exactly inspire confidence. What's your point? I get it. Give me a sec. I don't need you anymore. Go wait outside. You got it, boss. You know, I normally have a stake in everything. Goods, services, you name it. But I've been trying to expand lately, and I'm losing business partners left and right. It was all so promising when I started. But here I go, getting ahead of myself. Let's start from the beginning. You're here for Skibor, just like your pale-faced friend. Or should I say, ex-friend. That rat left for the depot when I fed him a few lies. What a shame. One leaves you in the lurch, and the other blows himself up. <laughs> you know about that? Of course. And I owe you my thanks for that. If it wasn't for you, that idiot howler would have ruined everything. In case you don't remember, he was looking to relieve you and Skibor of your shards. It's a good thing you didn't get pulled into his game. Skibor never would have succeeded. Um. Hmm. So you and Skibor were partners. <laughs> we weren't partners, but he was a useful tool for me. But first things first. When Skibor first arrived in the crater, I couldn't tell the difference between him and the rest of the scum. He was just an average looking guy. But this average looking guy was buying Elix left and right. So I knew something was fishy. So I wanted to know two things from him. Where did he get the shards to pay for the Elix? And why didn't I ever see him use it? He's made full use of everything else. Everything was a rush for him. Didn't matter if it was alcohol or women. He had no control. He wasn't telling me anything, so I just pumped him full of chems. He was singing like a canary then. <laughs> and you wouldn't believe what he told me. An ALB agent disguised as a human? Genius. Then I got an idea. All I needed for it was a bomb. A human bomb. How'd you make Skibor into a bomb? It was easy. Getting him sedated was a cinch. Then I sliced him open and wired him up. And it was all thanks to my homemade cocktail of chems. He had no side effects. Well, except for the odd stomach ache. Albs are tough, man. Same goes for a fucked up alb. Hmm. How'd you know when he was gonna leave? I knew his routine. <laughs> At least I thought I did. I gave him double the elix and hoped he would deliver the stuff to his client. But that son of a bitch didn't move. He couldn't get enough of the stuff. And I didn't have any more to give him. Imagine the situation. He could have gone off if he'd farted and taken half the crater with him. Even though the detonator was only supposed to react to a high concentration of Elix, I wasn't sure exactly what would happen. And neither Baxter nor Hector would have found it funny to have their huts torn out from straight under their asses. Luckily, you came along and made everything better. I do seem to remember Skibor was kind of weird about stomach aches, wasn't he? Well, not, maybe not stomach aches, but there was something going on. Um, so the attack on the Alps was all your idea. 
So the attack on the Alps was all your idea? Of course. Those fireworks were supposed to catapult me to the top. It just didn't pan out that way, as you can tell. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I am kind of wondering why he's telling all this, and why he's so calm about it. You're pretty calm for a guy who almost started a war. Everyone knows it's not us that has the Alps' attention. It's those stupid purple bugs. Besides, the clerics were the ones who were supposed to be the whipping boys. All I had to do was set Skibor on them. It was a simple trade. Their medal for Elix. That was the deal. But Skibor didn't know it'd be the last deal he ever made. So, this brings up a question. How'd you find out about me? You didn't cover your tracks as well as you thought. <laughs> well, that won't happen a second time. What if I were to offer you a job, huh? You come work for me? What do you say? Uh, Boy. I don't know. I don't, uh, I don't really care to, I think. Not that I have much love for the elves or the clerics. But not for the outlaws either. Nah. I don't work for people like you. You, you nah, what you did to Ski War is, is kind of nasty. Too nasty. No, no. I don't work with or for people like you. You know what? That's exactly the kind of answer I'd expect from you. I just can't work with anyone who knows more than I do. And what you know is enough to get me killed. It was a mistake sending your guards outside. Mistake? That's just the way I want it. The less they know, the better. But since you seem to miss them, I'll bring them back. Tell Skibor I say hello. <laughs> Shit! What was that? Here we go. Ow. Cheap shot, man. Unit available. Oh, that's not a uh not a good position. Did he get you? Where did you come from? You didn't think I would abandon you, did you? Um I kind of did. Honestly, yeah. I had a lot to make up for. Let's get the fuck out of here before people start asking too many questions. I had the dubious fortune to track this guy down before you did. He distrusted me from the outset. That gave him an advantage, so I had to take action. You mean you played dumb? I must have been convincing. His henchmen didn't follow me. Good thing you took them out. I wasn't sure you could handle them all, so why take a risk? Let's sum up the results one last time. We'll go up there, have some peace and quiet. Up where? Okay, out with it. What did you learn? Skibor is only partly to blame. The Elix became his undoing. How so? His consumption was limited to a minimum. He was supposed to get it for someone. The outlaw took advantage of that and turned it into a bomb. What? You know what that means. It's not over yet. What are you talking about? Listen, Alexander Azox long suspected that Commander Aris is taking more Elix than allowed. It was my job to find out if his theory was true. You remember our meeting at the Collectors? I was looking for a middleman there. I had no idea that Skibor had taken on that role himself. The Commander is a security risk. Commander, recommend updating procedure to immediately resolve present conflict. It will not be so simple. A confrontation with the Commander is unavoidable. Um... Let's get back. What are we waiting for? Let's get back to the depot. I'm sorry. 
you'll have to walk this path alone. What are you talking about? I don't know the reasons for Orissa's behavior, but I've learned that it's better to find out before jumping to any conclusions. Except, I'm no longer the right man for the job. You've shown me what it is to be efficient, what it means to make your own decisions. I can't just return to the depot and keep on like before. I want to understand how the world works. To do that, I have to turn my back on the directive. I have to leave the Alps. Oof. I won't stop you. I won't stop you. I knew you'd understand. So, what are you going to do now? I'll do what you did. Disappear into exile for a while. But if you want to do me one last favor, cut the commander some slack. I know you two didn't get along, but we owe her a lot. I'll think about it. As a start? Who knows, you might even be able to open her eyes. As I don't understand much about saying goodbye, I won't even try. All right. Take care of yourself, Zarek. I will. But go now. The depot is waiting. Oh, and Jax. Mm hmm Yeah. Thanks. Boy, that, uh, oh. There were a few twists and turns there. I c can't say I'm making sense of it all. Also, why would you tell us that Iris and I weren't doing too well together? We, we got on like a house on fire. Anyway, let's speak to Arissa. See if talking to her clears everything up. back. Good. I assume you have nothing to report? Wrong. But it's better if I tell you the rest without your guards here. Excuse me. I must have misheard you. Trust me. I'm doing you a favor. Okay, if it's that important to you. Leave us alone. Yes, Commander. All right, explain. Are the clerics responsible for the attack? Not the clerics. The outlaws. One of them, at least. What are you talking about? Skibor would never have gotten involved with them. Not willingly, no. But he was being used, and they made him into a living bomb. And it's all thanks to you. How dare you! You're standing in front of a commander of the Albs! Spare me the theatrics. I want to help you. You violated the directive. Your elix dealings blown you're wasting my time going to see Azark um, you have violated the directive you violated the directive your elix dealings blown what but how how did you know doesn't matter you better tell me how this all happened uh, okay okay I could do that let me explain Skibor had to supply me with elix I couldn't think of another way out. You can't imagine what it's like. All I do, every day, all day, is pass down judgments. Every one means a death. And the bodies pile up and up. The lifeless faces blur together. But I do it. And I deal with it. And I make more hard decisions. And I always put efficiency first. I always promote our vision. And I use Elix to help me forget. To... Blunt these emotions and leave me cold. But the normal ration's not enough. Skibor understood that. More than anybody else. But now you're here. And holding up the mirror to me. Recommend activating tear ducts to manage stress. <laughs> not now. I've just made everything worse. There's... There's no future for me. Who says your future lies with the Alps? You could work for the clerics. You want... Sympathy, you're not getting that from me. Um, well, 
Zarek asked us not to be too hard on her. But why would why would he, why would we say to go to the clerics? Um, I don't know, but maybe if you're if the, if you don't have another option, you may as well. Who says your future lies with the Albs? You could work for the clerics. Me, for the clerics? <laughs> they would never refuse a helping hand. Correct. <laughs> your hearts understand. Why are you doing this? Why are you helping me? Yeah, I, I promised. I promised a friend. A friend? Who? Zarek. Zarek? Did I hear you right? Hmm. I thought he hated you. Yeah. In fact, your dislike of each other is the reason you were sent off together. As a distraction to stop attention landing on me. Guess I failed at that too. Where is he anyway? He's not coming back, and neither should you. Now don't make me ask you again. Go to the clerics. If Hagen digs his heels in, tell him I sent you. He owes me a favor. Right away. I just have to pack up my kit. My final order is, report to Azok. It's up to him to officially close this investigation. Tell him about my misconduct. Maybe it'll help him to appoint a more capable successor. Excellent. Oh, and Jax. Thank me another time. So long. Mm-hmm. Hang on. We'll go talk to Azak. Azak? Attack on the silo has been cleared up. I expected a report from my personal agent. Where's Zarek? Uh, we don't need to. Uh... I kind of feel bad about the way it's described here. He turned his back on the Alps. He, you could say it in a less harsh way, but I don't. I don't know if. Should we tell him he's dead? They don't seem to take kindly to... Uh, nah, let's not lie. He's turning, he's turned his back on the Alps. He's turned his back on the Alps. With your encouragement. Nope. No. It was his own choice. Decisions must serve the common good, not personal motives. But let's get back to the attack. Summarize the facts. Focus on information about the Initiator and possible accomplices. The Initiator first. Who was it? An outlaw. He was pursuing his own agenda. His status? Eliminated. Good. Any retaliatory measures will be taken in due course. Now the accomplices. Who was involved and in what capacity? Skibor was a victim of circumstance. His cover was blown in the crater and they made him into a living bomb. How did he get exposed? It was Arissa's fault. She used him to get herself some Elix. I feared for some time she was abusing her post. Now I'm sure. All told, we are down in Elix Silo, a scout and a commander. Under these circumstances, I'm counting on you rejoining us. I'm in desperate need of a replacement for Zarek. Think it over. Being with the Albs is your destiny. Nope. Ready. <laughs> Oh, 
Ooh. Quite a quest there. Let me check if Arissa's gone. Curious. Yeah, she is. Maybe she's already at the, cl at the clerics. We could check. Let's see if we can... Uh, Oh, we might have to use that actually. Any anything good to swipe? May as well. Nobody's around now. Yep. Taking that one. Sure. Sure. Hmm. All uh, right. Let's suck at something. Let's do... what should we do? Bonus heavy punch, bonus health per hit, bonus resistance, bonus experience, bonus health. Let's do this. Uh, uh, yeah, where or how am I supposed to get more powerful sockets? Uh, more powerful gems? I have no idea. Probably take these out. See if she's here. They're usually pretty good about that stuff. Takes a bit more time for her to show up. You have anything? Mother has gotten into nasty. Did the Morcons turn her brain to mush? Huh. She's always been a character. I do not wish to see her again. Have I made myself clear? You could have just asked. Was it really necessary to sick your robots on us? Maybe not. But now you know I mean what I say. Yes, we do. Right, the Reavers. The tunnel is secure. The Reavers are dead. You've got guts. I'll give you that. Such an achievement deserves a proper reward. Your loot will be no. confiscated and put to good use. Not too bad. It would be wasteful to leave it to the rats, after all. I get the feeling this was more about the loot than the Reavers for you. Oh, come on. You've seen the state we're in. If an opportunity to improve our situation presents itself, I can't just let that go. Besides, if I didn't think like that, I wouldn't have sweetened the deal for you so much. You get the shards, I get the goods. Win-win. Orderly, over here. Unit available. <laughs> oh, Falk, you're in the way. Gather up a few able bodied men and empty out the old tunnel network in the north. Food, materials, whatever you find. Understood? Yes, sir! You can pile it all up in the merchant's storehouse. Now go. Interesting. Yeah, I don't think we'll find Orissa anytime soon. Maybe later on. That's just what I said.
the clerics don't seem too bad, actually, now that I think of it. I really... Well, I didn't spend too much time with them in Elex 1. I didn't like them in Elex 1, even though, yeah, I could have spent more time with them, but even, even, even still. I didn't care for them. But now they don't seem too bad. But yeah, at the same time, they are kind of religious nuts, aren't they? Yeah, well, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll call the episode here for now. We'll continue on next time. I don't actually, uh, know what we should be doing. Uh, I think we have... Yeah, I'll look, I'll look into it. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and, uh, hope to see you again sometime and farewell for now.